Hey everyone, it's Sabrina, and today I have another review, and this review is for the Remington Anti-Static um, Straightener, which is just like this really pretty um, purple straightener, and um, just looks like this. It's very nice and sleek, and um, I'm very excited for this purchase, and again, um, I didn't purchase this with my own money, so all opinions and thoughts will be my own, and nobody gave this to me, so yeah. <laughs> I got this yesterday and I read only good things about it. I was looking for a new straightener that wouldn't like pull on my hair because after a while like the old straighteners that I have which were cheap and I know this is still cheap but I heard just good things so I thought hey I'll give it a try. But all the straighteners that I have would like pull on my hair whenever I straighten it and I realized that it just caused more damage and stuff and it just wasn't nice. So I went out and bought this straightener because I read that it like comparable to the Chi which is kind of crazy. I know I'm like what? Okay I guess I'll give it a shot. but. Um, my side, people say they really like it, it does keep your hair anti-staticky, which I've had problems with straighteners do that before. It has a buoyant plate, which means it's bouncy, you guys can see if I push on it, so this is very, very good. So instead of like, getting your hair caught, it will just, you know, pull it down in a straight formation. So I'm really excited about using this, I just opened it, and um, the packaging was really hard to open, I spent like, an hour, like, ripping it apart. Yeah, don't ask, it was very interesting, I should have totally filmed that part. But, um... So I guess I'm going to do a review on it so far, I just, I haven't, I've read only good things, but all I know is that it has a power button right here, plus or minus, it goes up to 410, so that's like the highest, pretty hot, and you guys know that I like Remington, I have so many Remington products, so that's why I won't give up on Remington. It also has a lock and unlock right here, so you lock it, and it stays locked like this, whenever you want to go traveling, and then you just unlock it when you want to use it, so... So this is really cool, I like that whole feature about it. And this has an auto shut off, so after 60 minutes, if you ever leave this on, let's say you're going to school, you forget about it, and your mom freaks out. I know my mom's like, did you turn off your strainer? I'm like, uh, I think so. And she'll like freak out and she'll go home, I know she does that. But this time, she won't have to go home because this shuts off after 60 minutes, so that's pretty good. But that's good, so I guess I'm gonna go ahead and try it out and see what it does. Okay, so I plugged it in and I put up my hair. I recommend taking your hair and splitting it in half, maybe um, using a hair clip. So I put it in and right now it's heating up at 410, you guys can see that. And there's these little lines right here which is calculating like when it'll be done. So when this is done heating up, it should probably stop doing this or fill up or something like that. I'm not sure what's going to happen. But um, yeah, so I just plugged it in. It smells like burning plastic, that's great. <laughs> And now I'm just going to go ahead and take my Trust Me Heat Protectant. Always make sure to use a heat protectant when you use heat on your hair. And you can get this at any drugstore. So I'm just going to spritz that. And brush it through. Okay, so now it is done heating up. You guys can see that the three bars have stopped moving and they're just in one place. So that's how we know if it's done heating up. And again, I put it at the highest setting, which is 410. So I guess I'm just going to take one section of my hair and straighten it. That was really nice. You guys saw that it did not stop and did not get caught and it just goes straight down smooth. Wow. It's a good straightener. And I've been looking for a straightener again that won't stop on my hair that will keep my hair nice and shiny after I'm done straining it because straighteners will make my hair like poofy and damaged so again I'm gonna go ahead and keep on straining my hair and once I'm done I'll get back to you and let you know if I like it or so not. So I'm done straining my hair and this is what it looks like you guys can see how shiny and luscious it looks and that's exactly how it feels I'm gonna be completely honest and um, it's very nice and straight and I love it. I love this straightener. It's by far my favorite straightener I have ever used. So, okay, yes, I do love this straightener. I'm really happy I purchased it. I have used the Chi. My hair feels exactly like it would feel after I used the Chi, which means it feels soft and silky. So, again, this was a very great purchase. My only complaint is that you have to be really careful when you straighten your hair to not touch this these two plates on the outside, like right here. I know sometimes when we get, we get like close to our hair, we want to get closer and closer to straightener to get a good grip on it. But don't do that because I kind of, yeah, you guys can see my fingers are like red, they're like burnt. I kept doing that because I'm so used to doing that. So don't touch that part, just keep your hand on this part, but I don't know. Other than that, everything looks great, it works great. My hair turned out looking a lot better than it did before and it feels a lot nicer. 
So all in all, I do love this straightener. I'm really happy with my purchase. And if you guys are good, looking for a great straightener, um, again, yes, it is anti-static. You guys can see I don't have any more static -y here, so that's great too. So yeah, all in all, I like this straightener. I recommend it if you're looking for a new one. And um, if you're looking to, like for straighteners specifically for static -y hair, this works great too. So thanks so much for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little review. Bye, guys.